Hi guys, hope everyone is doing super well today and boy do I have a great treat in store for you. So today I am featuring a cocktail made by Great Jones Distillery. They are actually New York City's second distillery, believe it, we actually have two, but they are the very first whiskey distillery in New York City. Cannot believe that they are in Manhattan, the first distillery in New York love it they're on broadway in noho so right on the corner of broadway and great jones and that's the reason that it's called great jones distillery all the goodness in here the grain is grown in new york it is distilled in new york it is aged in new york a hundred percent new york state spirit and go figure now we are in the middle of september already can't get over that one either so apple season is here and i figured you know what why not just make a really amazing fall forward cocktail take advantage of all of those apples that we're about to have on hand got these apples from new york as well so i mean you see the theme right the whole local eat drink local and just enjoy new york it's an amazing place and we're about to have an amazing cocktail so i'm going to add two ounces of Great Jones Bourbon. And so I actually visited their distillery. I was there, I think about a week ago at this point. And there is also a rye, and I believe they also make a four grain whiskey. But it is an amazing spot. You could check out the dist you know, the distillery, um, their still, you could check out the um, bar. Oh my, I mean, I, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to making this place a total destination to hang out and just have good times. So two ounces of the Great Jones bourbon. Then I am going to go with some fresh apple cider. So we're going to get that nice solid apple punch in there. So we're going to go with two ounces of fresh apple cider. We're going to do one ounce of fresh lemon juice and a half ounce of my very, very, very dense honey. So because this honey is so super dense, you just get all this goodness in here. That is the reason that I did not add ice to my shaker just yet. I am going to shake this first without ice just to get that honey to dissolve and integrate. Because if I added the ice and then everything on top of it, you would just have globs of honey in your cocktail and nobody wants to do that. The honey is amazing, but this is not about the honey, right? It's about everything working beautifully together. And then I also have my Angostura bitters. So I'm going to add one dash of Angostura. And now we are going to add our ice. So get these guys in here. All right. I'm going to give this, yeah, this is a little strong, so I'm going to add all of my ice. Give this a proper shape. Yeah, I mean, go figure. Middle of September, fall is here. This is a great fall cocktail for sure. Uh, love it. Absolutely, absolutely love it. I mean, you can make this however you want. You could certainly make it with whiskey as well, if that's your thing. But this is really just an amazing bourbon cocktail. All right. So we have this. I'm gonna take this everything off. All right, please cooperate with me. All right, okay, here we go. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. All right. Look at that beauty. Look at that. And then, of course, now we are going to add our apples for garnish. Ain't that nice and pretty? All right, let's see what we have. Oh my. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. That is really, really, really good. Enjoy, guys. Go check out Great Jones. And um, maybe I'll see you there. You never know. <laughs> have a good one. Take care. Bye bye. And as always, if you have any questions, never hesitate to ask. You know you're going to find me. <laughs> bye.